The first game of the new USFL will be broadcast on Fox and NBC. The first game of the new USFL will air on both Fox and NBC on April 16 from Protective Stadium in Birmingham, the first time a professional football game has been featured on two network broadcasts simultaneously since Super Bowl I in 1967. Fox Sports CEO Eric Shanks kicked off the USFL with an event at Protective Stadium this morning. I feel like it's real for the first time, Shanks said. Protective Stadium looks good on television as good as any stadium in the country, he said. The USFL will feature eight teams, all based in Birmingham for the first season. The Birmingham Stallions and the New Jersey Generals will play the first game, April 16 at 6.30 p.m. That will kick off the 12-week season. The rest of the teams are the Tampa Bay Bandits, the Philadelphia Stars, the New Orleans Breakers, the Houston Gamblers, the Pittsburgh Maulers and the Michigan Panthers. The teams will begin a three-and-a-half-week training camp in March. Legion Field will host 11 games and the rest will be played at Protective Stadium. The more you learn about this, the more exciting it gets, said Skip Holtz, head coach of the Birmingham Stallions. There is going to be a home team, he said. The Birmingham Stallions are back. Holtz jokingly announced that retired NFL star Reggie Bush, a Fox Sports analyst who was sitting on the front row at the announcement today, would be on the stallion. They'll call it, you run it, you make me look good. Bush, who is serving as a goodwill ambassador for the USFL, spoke to youth on Monday at the A.G. Gaston Boys Girls Home in Birmingham as part of the USFL's community outreach. Fox Sports owns the USFL and NBC is its broadcasting partner. All games will be televised on various related networks, including nine on NBC, nine on USA Network and four on Peacock. 14 on Fox and 8 and FS1. It shows the commitment to making this a success, said NBC Sports executive John Miller. Brian Woods, a USFL co-founder and president of football operations, said the USFL will focus heavily on drafting recent college football players. We want to build the star power very quickly, he said. Tickets are available for $10 at USFL2.com and an adult ticket includes three free for kids.